Silo's implementation of sticky keys is basically a way to speed up your workflow if you're using a lot of keyboard shortcuts. So for example, um, extrude is mapped to Z for a keyboard shortcut. Now normally I've got this uh, face highlighted right here. If I hit Z and just tap it and let go, then it opens this local move manipulator and I click and drag and it will move that. I hit enter or escape to complete the extrusion. Now let me undo that. Um, and if I hit, uh, if I use the sticky key implementation, what I would do is instead of just tapping Z, I would press Z and hold it down. And so I'll do that right now and I press Z and I'm still holding it down. Now as I drag the mouse, um, it will move while I'm still holding down Z, but as soon as I let go of Z, it will exit the tool and complete the extrusion. So it just saves a few different clicks and um, keyboard presses. And so this is for when you get really good and uh, really used to the program where you're using your keyboard shortcuts quickly. You can just like press and hold Z and do an extrude. You can press and hold B and do a bevel. Um, and uh, there are just a whole bunch of different commands that work with these sticky keys. Basically, the, anything that makes sense for it to be in the tool or the command while you hold it down, and then to automatically exit or complete the, the command when you let go, we've added sticky key functionality for that. So we think you'll find it very handy.